Welcome to our coverage of IPL 2022. What an exciting start to the tournament. Yeah, today we will review our predictions for the playoffs, our orange cap and purple cap competition, and movers and shakers in the early part of the tournament. So keep watching. Welcome to Crick World Straight Up by Vijay and Prabhu. Hello friends. Hope you are all doing very well and thank you for joining us once again. This is the time of the year when the IPL holds center stage. In the last episode we predicted four teams which would make the playoffs and also launched the orange and purple cap competition. Yes, so have you entered yet? Oh, all you have to do is pick your choices and put them in the comment sections below and you're good to go. Remember, the last date is 20th May. Let's not talk about the week that was. Yes, so let's start with our four predicted teams which are KKR, RCB, Delhi Capitals and Punjab Kings. Let's begin with KKR. KKR and CSK started off the tournament uh, on the 26th of March and KKR beat CSK comfortably. 132 runs were scored by CSK losing wickets at regular intervals a good contribution by Dhoni, but it was never going to be enough. Yeah, correct. And notably, Dhoni decided to resign and uh, just two days before the game. And Ravindra Jadeja was made a captain. Yeah, that was uh, shades of what happened in 2014 when Dhoni did, uh, resigned during the Australian tour. Correct, correct. And now a clash between two of our predicted teams, RCB and KKR. This was a low scoring game, which actually turned out to be a thriller. RCB probably should have won this game uh, with probably three overs to spare. Easily. But the match went into the last over because none of the batsmen got going. Correct. So batting first, KKR actually began very poorly and continued to look, uh, lose wickets at, at regular intervals and ending up with only Paul Tree 128. Sri Lankan uh, specialist Hasaranga took four wickets. And I explained earlier, Dinesh Karthik's role seems to be really, really vital. And he was the one who took them across the line. Absolutely, we predicted that. Yeah, and I mean, even those RCB lost wickets at regular intervals, somehow they found the depth in the middle order to take them across the line. Yeah, just about crossing the line. Yeah, and on to another match between RCB and Punjab, our preferred teams to make it to the playoffs. Yeah. This time around, RCB batted first mm. and fast started brilliantly with an 88 and Kohli weighed in with 41. Mm. But Karthik did the job of the finisher, 34 of 12 balls and took them to an imposing total of 205. Yeah, and look, 205 looked like a daunting uh, score, but Punjab had different ideas. Uh, Shikhar Dhawan and Mayank Agarwal started brilliantly and with uh, cameos from Bhanuka and uh, Odian Smith, they got over the line with almost an over to spare. That's right, and it left uh, RCB doing their missed chances. I mean, they also missed uh, Hazelwood and Glenn Maxwell, but then two well-deserved points to Punjab. Absolutely. The middle order was probably not so great, but their opening order is looking very ominous, and Punjab is looking like a team to beat. Exactly. And Trivia time again for the IPL. I've got a good one for you. Sure. Which is the team which has had the maximum number of captains in the, all these years. Okay, I think I got this one. It's not RCB, it cannot be CSK, and it cannot be Mumbai Indians either. So it must be Punjab then. Very, very close. But it's actually Delhi. Delhi Capitals had had eight captains so far. Oh, okay. So we come to the another clash of two preferred teams, Punjab versus KKR. Another low scoring game, which 137 scored by Punjab and Umesh Yadav, player of the match, 4 for 23, brilliant bowling performance. Absolutely, absolutely. KKR also tried uh, their best to, uh, you know, try and lose the game, but then Russell came up with a brilliant 70 of 31 balls and just crushed Punjab's hopes completely. Fantastic Andre Russell. And it took uh, KKR to the top of the table at that time. Yeah. Mm. With two uh, wins out of three. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now to another important game. Delhi versus Amchi Mumbai. Mumbai started very, very well with Rohit Sharma and Ishan Krishan starting 
with a very very important 30 or 40 run opening partnership Ishan Kishan actually hit a very very brilliant 81 mm. but looked like they were heading for a 200 plus score but were pulled back by a brilliant leg spin bowling by Kuldeep Yadav and they were out for 177 well that looked like a formidable score 177 but Delhi and also Delhi Capitals actually had a miserable start they were 30 for 3 at one point they were 6 for 104 but Aksar Patel and uh, Lalit Yadav had different ideas they had a brilliant fight back and they actually won with an over to spare yeah and two very important points for Delhi absolutely now, now we come to the impact performances or match winning performances uh, so far first one let's start with uh, Shami Shami took 3 for 25 brilliant um, uh, seam bowling then we come to uh, Odeon Smith uh, what a power hitting uh, uh, 25 runs in 8 balls Yes, and after that we see Josh Butler, a hundred of sixty-six balls against Mumbai Indians. Correct. Um, Shubman Gill, stylish eighty-four for fifty-five balls. Brilliant batting. So easy on the eye. Absolutely. Yeah. And Umesh Yadav, four for twenty-three. I mean, he's just been bowling brilliantly. Absolutely. Absolutely. And now let's get on to the pitches. Mm -hmm. As explained earlier, the pitches look good to bat on. Yes, you're right. But there is still little movement for the seam bowlers. There's plenty of bounce little spin but yes you're right mostly good to bat on yeah the mantra right now seems to be win toss field first and good for chasing most of the teams have won chasing yeah but there is one exception the exception seems to be Pune's pitch both games in Pune have been won by the team batting first but as explained earlier things are about to change in a couple of weeks as the sun starts to beat down, the weather starts to change, the wickets will become slower and lower okay. and the spinners will come into play and you will see slower, uh, slower balls as well. Yeah. So things will change. Absolutely. And the bounce also kind of varies. Yes. Yes. So you're and, right. And then winning the toss will be in bat first. So let's look at the group standings as, as of today. Yeah. Rajasthan Royal with a fantastic run rate, KKR. And Gujarat Titans are at the top of the table with two victories each. Yeah, and somewhat not surprisingly, CSK and Mumbai Indians are at the bottom with so far winless despite playing two games each. So, Prabhu, what does a team need to do to qualify for the playoffs? Well, looking at the composition of the uh, tournament, uh, 10 teams, 14 games each, it looks like nine games should be good enough. But I have a feeling the run rate might be very, very crucial at the end of Let's take a look at the contenders for the orange and purple cap. For the orange cap, the leaders are Josh Butler and Ishan Kishan, 135 runs each. And who's your pick, by the way? Well, mine is Rishabh Pant. And mine is Virat Kohli. Okay, now let's look at uh, the purple cap. The current leader is uh, Umesh Yadav with standout performance and eight wickets in the bag. And let me remind you, who's your pick? Prabhada. Well, and mine is Sunil Narayan. Hope you liked this video. Join us again in the next episode of the IPL. For more insights and be part of the IPL mania, which is soon going to hit fever pitch in the coming few weeks. Yes. So remember to like, share and subscribe. And if you need a catch up on our analysis of the teams, our predictions and other exciting stuff like our competition, Watch our previous videos. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video.